This is On The Hook with Dylan, the places, faces, and tails of Myrtle Beach Seafood, and today, we're cooking with flounder. Hi, I'm Dylan Foster, and I love seafood. I've been in the Myrtle Beach area for more than 15 years, and since then, my life has revolved around seafood. From cooking and catching it, to serving and selling it, I've done just about everything you can do in this industry. So come and join me as we tour the places, faces, and tails of Myrtle Beach Seafood. This is On The Hook. Now, Flounder lives in the inlet here locally, Merle's Inlet. You might have seen boats at night flooded with these bright lights riding around the inlet. You're wondering, what the heck are these guys doing? A lot of them are probably flounder gigging. And they come in and they stab these flounder with this trident on a spear. And that's how we get our beautiful local Merle's Inlet flounder. And that's what that, that is right there. That's how, they, that's how they look in the wild. And this fish starts out swimming like this. And then some point through its life, it starts to rotate and it starts swimming like this. It's crazy. It's like us one day deciding to start walking around like that. It doesn't make any sense to me. But that's how they do their life. On the top, they're nice and dark because they blend in with the sand on the bottom. Underneath, they're white because they blend in with the sunlight from up above. So if they're swimming above a predator, they kind of some camouflage there. So that's how they look whole in the wild. Now here, I have one that's already dressed. And when I say dressed, I mean we've taken the scales off on both sides. There's scales on both sides of this fish. We've taken the head and the guts out so it's nice and clean, ready to cut. And that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to take our fillet knife, nice and sharp. I like a nice six, seven inch blade with a curve, nothing too wide. This is just my tool of my trade. Everybody has their own tool. My tool is not going to be the same as your tool and vice versa. It's just an individual personal preference. So to cut this flounder, I like to start on the underside or the white side. For me, it just helps. It's just a little easier. And can you see that, John? Let's look at the bone structure here. So all of these flounder, actually, if you look at this white, this line up the spine, up the back fillet, this is actually the, where the spine is going through the inside of the fish. So they have a spine that runs from the head to the tail. And then here they have these long finger rib bones that go out through the entire fish. So that's how we're gonna start cutting it. We're gonna cut, put our knife in on this side and run down those rib bones. You can see them right there. And then we're gonna come down and cut this side off, just like this. First, the knife goes in right at that spine, keeping it nice and flat all the way down through. And we're just gonna rub all the way along those rib bones there. And I open it up, you can see them and you can also hear them, listen. That's the sound you're looking for right there. That's how you know you're getting all of that beautiful meat off of those bones. So that knife continues up. The blade is going straight up this spine. And we're just gonna carefully work it right out the side of the fish. Keep working down until we free that entire half of that filet off those bones there. It's like music. And we turn our knife tip. It's gonna come right up through here and just start peeling that filet right off those bones. And there you go. Filet number one. This was a female. This was part of her row. So that's how we can tell that that's a female because that's part of her row sack or her egg sack. So now we have one filet down, one filet off that fish. Let's get the second filet off. We'll flip it over and we're gonna rinse and repeat do the exact same thing we did on the first time, just mirror it on the back side. So again, that knife goes down on top of those ribs, all the way straight out, like so. All right, there's that music again. Come down all the way to the tail, come out. All the way, there we go. Run the tip of your knife up the spine on the other side, now down the back, and just peel it right off. Nice, long, smooth strokes of that knife, keep you from messing up that filet, and having a nice finished product. Now that is a clean flounder carcass. You can almost see right through it. Hello. So to finish these, cleaning these filets, we're gonna take this rib and fin fat off. We just trim that off. Now, if you're here in the inlet and you're looking for good crab bait, you found it. 
Those blue crabs in our Merle's Inlet, they love this flounder fin fat. Love it, they eat it up. So that's one clean. Clean this one, exact same process. Fin fat off. There we go. And there you have it, two. We'll cut the pin bones out. I got a couple of pin bones right here. Some pin bones on that one. Clean some pin bones on this one. There we go. And here we have some beautiful South Carolina flounder fillets ready for the flavor. Join us on the next episode where we take these flounder fillets, add a beautiful garlic parmesan crust, and really kick up the flavor. Beach easy.